Excuse me, but have you been waiting long? <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer for Pickety Witch. Name all over the 
hopeless. Do anything that you want to do. But I, uh, uh, honey, let's go. you this i heard it was a, a relaxed show but this is ridiculous the lord keep us are you the floor manager <laughs> come up here come up here come up here come up here and talk to me how are you i don't think we better talk down here because they will get other people talking so we get out now <laughs> all right let's jump up again let's do it very come neatly on. are you all right now Mrs. Yeah. well you weren't lepping around there like a devil like a devil lepping around are we devil are you all right I'm okay, Mike. How are you, love? Well, I'm not so bad, actually, although I'm Tell not me. in the best of form. I bought a pair of hush puppies today, and one of them died. <laughs> <laughs> a bit sad. But I feel a bit better now. I'm on the show, and it's all in, and drink, 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 so I feel better now. Oh, well, that's good. Well, anyway, you know that the Scots and the Irish are very close. Oh, yes. There's a very strong link between us. You know what it is? What? Whiskey. <laughs> 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 Whereabouts in Ireland do you come from? Now, what I come from a place called Kilkenny, which is big farming land, you know. Oh, yes. Oh. My father was from the soil, my great-grandfather from the soil, my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather was from the soil. We're the dirtiest people in Kilkenny. <laughs> and you? Well, I can remember that my grandmother was Celtic. She used to play outside right. See, you're doing the jokes now, are you? Doing the jokes, are you? Well, I tell you what, I'll just walk over here and do a few other ones, and you just have a quick word there. Shagunk, as he disappeared. Good luck, good luck, good luck to you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Newman. Thank you, little, lo little Luna. What a lovely person. From Glasgow, which is rather good. Actually, I was in Glasgow about two, I think about a month ago. There's a fallacy about Scots people being mean, you know. Isn't altogether true? No. Although I didn't know... Oh, no, listen. <laughs> Not yet, in a minute. <laughs> Although I did know a Scotsman who got so depressed, he broke into the house next door and gassed himself. <laughs> I was in the bar. <laughs> Actually, I was, I was in Glasgow, I was in a bar up there, you know. I'm standing at the bar, there's a fella staggers in, says to the barman, Hey! Give the gym and tonic. <laughs> and the barman's get out, you're drunk. Fella staggered out of the bar, down the side, around the back, back up the other side, back into the same bar, up to the counter. He said, Hey! <laughs> Give the gym and tonic. <laughs> and the barman said, Get out, you're drunk. Fella staggered out of the bar, down the side, around the back, back up the other side, back into the same bar, up to the counter. He said, hey, get the gym and tonic. And the farmer said, get out, you're drunk. And the fella said, hey, do you own all the pubs in this town? <laughs> we, have a, we have a coal mine in Ireland. You didn't know that, you know. Or did you? Well, maybe you didn't. I don't know. It's only a small mine, you know. They get the odd fire out of it. It's a small thing. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place called uh, Castle Comer. It's just small. I was in a bar having a drink in this town. And there's a fella standing beside me at the bar there. He's three foot nine inches high. He's a flathead, no neck, bow legs, and a cauliflower ear. <laughs> I said to the fella, who is him? The fella said, that man is the hero of the village. He averted a pit disaster. He held up 
this great beam of wood on his head and 300 miners ran across the top of it to safety. <laughs> I thought, that's why he's got a flat head, no neck, bow legs. I said, what you got a cauliflower ear for? Fella said we had a terrible job knocking him into place with the shovels. <laughs> You're too kind, honestly. I have a... There's a fella on the way to market with a horse. Goes into a pub to have a drink. Comes out. And somebody has painted the horse emerald green. <laughs> he walks back in the bar. He says, Who painted me horse emerald green? <laughs> There's a fella stands up in the corner. He's 15 foot 2 inches high. He's got shoulders like that. He says, I painted the horse emerald green. Fella said, oh, oh. Well, I just come in to tell you the first coat is dry. <laughs> Honestly, I admire your taste. I have, uh, <laughs> I have a brother who's an inventor. He invents useless sort of things like upside down lighthouses for submarines and... <laughs> Cross the dog with the giraffe so it could bark at aeroplanes. <laughs> Cross an Alsatian with the camel and got a dog that would hold his water for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> so he invents this serum and he's not quite sure what to do with it. So one evening he goes in the garden and he injects the serum into an ordinary garden tomato. Comes down in the morning, and the tomato has grown. <laughs> Out of all proportion. <laughs> it's a gigantic tomato. <laughs> and it uproots itself, and it rolls into town. And when it sees anybody, it goes... <laughs> covers them in ketchup. <laughs> People are running... People are running home, packing bags and catching trains and shouting, Look out! The tomato is coming! <laughs> well, this is very serious. So they get another professor, and he's as weird as the first fella. And he invents an alcoholic gun, which they fill up with vodka. And they face this thing across the field. And they're going, with the vodka. And it's going, with the ketchup. And everybody gets drunk on Bloody Marys. <laughs> Look, uh, I have to get out of here now, you know, which is probably a good thing, you know. I have the... Are you all right, Mrs? Listen. What? You know, I want to tell you something. I'm very, very proud that my next guest is the Queen. Yes? The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. <laughs>
Now here's someone else to tickle your fancy. Lonnie Donegan. The 
very much and thank you for spending the time with us. Good night. You're not a king, you're not an angel, you're a man. And I'm not a queen, I'm just a woman, so take my hand. We'll make a stake in this love that we've planned. And here we'll stay until it's time for you to go. Yes, we're different, worlds apart. We're not the same, oh no. We laughed and played at the start, just like a game. You could have stayed outside my heart, but in you came, and here we'll stay until it's time for you to go. Love of mine has no beginning, it has no end, oh no, I was an oak, now I'm a willow, now I can bend, and if I never 